At the heart of the village of Otford lies the well-known ancient pond with mellow old buildings around it and the green and the church beyond. A village in Kent with a pond. You only have to see the enthusiasm at special events to know that the village is alive. Okay, so going from left to right, I've started with the dawn of time, a living dinosaur coming out of a fossil. I'd just like to say about the mosaic that I think it's very colourful and very clever the way they've done this border with taking bits of specific tools from the period of time. The lightest bell, the treble, is lifted up into the belfry. The churches staged a flower festival. Our village caters and cares for its inhabitants from babyhood upwards in interests for all tastes. So George would pencil onto the um, board, then we just painted it and did all the details and patterned into it at the end. Alright, and this is how it turned out. Yeah. It's really super, isn't it? Yeah. We'll send them off in the minibus and then without our help they will try and get themselves back to the scout hut. What is a village without cricket on the green? Gathering your crops is the best part. The offered players encourage all ages to take part in their productions. The Saturday coffee morning is a good place to meet your friends or make new ones. Changes will happen, this we know, but hopefully nothing our village to mar. We'll accommodate much for the better, of course. From the Pilgrim Donkey to the Eurostar. At the planet Neptune, this is Damon Green for London Tonight. <laughs> Excellent. Beam him up, Scotty. Good night. Good night.